Hi, this info session is part of a wider user uptake strategy of the European Commission. One of the aims of that strategy is to stimulate the development and use of innovative downstream applications that incorporate Copernicus data and services. The growing renewable energy sector is best placed to use new technologies and to benefit from Copernicus products and services that offer full, free and open data to everybody. These data are currently supplied by six Copernicus services dedicated to the atmosphere, climate, marine, land, emergency and security domains. In this module, I will show you how to delineate the zone of visual influence of windmills in a landscape by using data produced by the Copernicus Land Monitoring Service, known as CNMS. In many countries, the visual influence of a wind farm on the landscape is an important issue especially in regions with a high population density. To assess the visual influence, wind farm developers use computational design tools which delineates the zone of visual influence, also known as the visibility footprint. A crucial element to calculate this visibility footprint is a detailed knowledge of the terrain topography in the form of a digital elevation model, known as DEM. This module shows you how to access the European Digital Elevation Model Reference data from the Copernicus Land Monitoring Service. The access to this data is free, but limited to registered users. So if it's your first time, you will have to register over the website of the European Environmental Agency. This module is organized in two steps that I will address through videos. The first video presents how to get the European Digital Elevation Model data from the Copernicus Land Monitoring Service. Select the area of interest and download the data and decompress the files. The second one shows how to visualize the map and how to locate the wind turbines and delineate the zone of visual influence by using the open source geographical information system QGIS. Now, Let's see which digital elevation model area are available for Copernicus. CNMS provides different products that have been derived from the EU DEM version 1.0 in a full European coverage. It's a set of 25 tiles covering 1000 by 1000 kilometers each. The European digital elevation model version 1.0 map shows a color shaded relief of image over Europe which has been created by EEA. The downloadable data are single band raster with values relating to the actual elevation. The data set is encoded as a GeoTIFF with Lempel ZIV Welsh, known as LZW compression mode tiles or deflate compression mode. So this first video shows you how to get the digital elevation model data from the Copernicus Land Monitoring Service. First, we have to select the area of interest. In this case, it's going to be north of Europe around Denmark. Then we will download the data and decompress the file. So we first go to the Copernicus Land Monitoring Service website, then we select the pan-European reference data and choose the data set we want, EU DEM version 1.0. Then we will select the specific tile of interest. Then we can download the dataset. Of course, if you're not registered yet, you will have to register if it's your first time. Otherwise, you just have to log in on the EEA portal. So now we have downloaded the dataset and we're going to decompress it to see the file. So you just have to open the decompressed data in the WinRAW file. Now, to delineate the zone of visual influence and the visibility footprint of the windmills, I propose to use the viewshed analysis. It's a common function of most GIS softwares. The analysis uses the elevation value of each cell of the DEM to calculate the visible surface from a given observer location. The GRASS library provides two routines. The Air Viewshed computes the viewshed author points on an elevation raster map and the air loss is a line of site raster analysis program. The Saga library also has a viewshed module and you can extend the QGIS software with a plugin called Advanced Visibility Analysis Tool. 
This plugin is particularly performant for multiple view shed calculations from a set of fixed points. Let's examine it in the next video. This video shows how to compute a zone of visibility by using the open source geographical information system QGIS. So we're going to open the DEMGOT file in QGIS, the one we just unloaded previously. Then we are going to insert point shape file with location of a wind turbine, which will be our point A. Then we set the point coordinate reference system to the same projection system as the DEM. We're going to insert now the Google hybrid layer and zoom to check the position of the wind turbine and be sure it's the right one. Then only we will launch the ViewShed plugin, which is the eye icon in QGIS. We're going to select the DEM layer as elevation raster. And then we're going to select the point A as the observation point. Now we just have to select the output file, set the research radius for instance to 20 kilometers in, uh, in our case, and set the observation height to 80 meters, which is the hub height of my windmill. I check the binary view shed, I use the earth radius and select the normal precision, and we're going to zoom in for the resulting raster. And now I just have to select the transparency. In this case, one is transparent for the visible areas and zero stays in black for the obstructed view. It gives me a lot of insight to fit my environmental impact assessment study. I just have to examine the result. Hoping this video was useful, I thank you for watching it.